I posted a few different videos on Instagram, on TikTok, and I get a lot of comments about what aliens actually are. And so a lot of people chime in, great. A lot of people think aliens are just demons. Aliens are fallen angels. Um, or aliens are another race altogether. Now, I've seen all those different theories and opinions, and but the majority of them that I see, they just think aliens are demons. Now, I don't think aliens are demons. This is especially if you're a Christian, this is the this is the common perception. And they think that people think that any kind of malevolent, any kind of demonic, any kind of evil being, it's it has to be a demon. A demon is this catch-all, you know, one size fits all descriptor of evil beings which if you actually study the text you study the bible you look at not just like you look at how the ancient writers and ancient people thought about these kind of things you you'll discover that aliens simply can't be demons I think aliens are demonic, but something being demonic doesn't make it a demon. So quickly, what do I think a demon is? Well, to me, if you read the Bible, and this, and again, I've done a lot of videos on this particular subject more in depth, but when you read Genesis chapter six, it talks about the Nephilim. It talks about the fallen angels coming down to earth, mating with human women, creating a hybrid, creature part human part angel part divine and their offspring this hybrid creature is known as the nephilim part human part angel hybrid creature called the nephilim now when these nephilim when these hybrid creatures when they died when you read the book of first enoch part of their judgment was they were left roaming the earth because of their dual nature part divine part human they were they were stuck here on the earth plane and this is where they function and so their their part of their judgment was they had to exist here bodiless and so for them to interact with our realm with our world physically what do they have to do? Well, they have to inhabit. And so what ancient rabbis and early church fathers and what they all believed was that demons, unclean spirits that we see in the Bible, we see in the gospels that Jesus dealt with, that the disciples, the apostles dealt with, that the early church dealt with, they were all the disembodied spirits of the Nephilim. So in these hybrid creatures, when they died, their spirit remained left roaming the earth and then to in it and then to interact with the earth this is why they have to inhabit things possess things they in order for them to because enoch talks about how they still they 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 have the desires that they once had when they were alive because they were part human they could touch taste smell all that they have these desires, but they can't exercise them in spirit form. And so they have to possess things. This is why they possess people, they possess animals, they possess objects, whatever. And so demons, when we think of demon, unclean spirit, they're the disembodied spirits of the Nephilim. That's who they are. So that then therefore, then they cannot be what we know as aliens. These aliens who are flying around in UFOs, the little gray guys with the big heads, almond-shaped eyes. Well, they can't be disembodied spirits of the Nephilim. So, the fact, so, right, right away, they're not demons. So, if they're not demons then, then what are they? It leaves a couple more options. You can go fallen angel, 
or you can go just another ancient race, ancient faction in the kingdom of darkness. Now, I used to be 100% for the idea, the theory that they're just another faction. The kingdom of, like, what we don't understand is the unseen realm, the, the spiritual world, whatever you want to phrase it, is so much more complex, so much more big, so much more, it's, it's, it's so much more beyond what we can comprehend or imagine. And so when you, it's not just, see, typically in church, typically we just think of, oh, you have Jesus, you have the devil, you have angels, you have demons, and that's it. Like, that's the categories. When in reality, when you study the text, there's, there's so much more going on. There's a hierarchy. There's different kinds of angels, different kinds of entities, and there's rank, and there's hierarchy, and it, it, it's a whole other world. And so, I mean, just look at our natural world for a second. Look at all the different species that live and think of all of the species that exist that haven't even been discovered yet. Like it's vast. And so it's not a stretch to think that the unseen realm is just as vast, if not more. And so I used to, and I, I think this is where I lean to, I, I think that they could be some kind of ancient race that has existed in the kingdom of darkness. I don't think they're good. I think they're evil. I think they're malevolent. I think they're demonic. And I think that somehow they are in the kingdom of darkness and that's where they are. And whether they are a recent thing that, or, or whether re they've, they've come onto the scene more recently in terms of the last few centuries or whether, you know, they've been around for who knows how many thousands of years and just have chosen to kind of uh, remain anonymous, remain hidden, and then now coming to, like, I don't know. I have no idea. But that's what I tend to lean to, and I was 100% that way, but I have heard a lot of arguments now and different theories put forward where they could potentially be connected to fallen angels. And so I'm definitely open to, to that theory as well, where, cause when you look at what aliens do, and even in, when we're talking about aliens, like there's different rank and order and hierarchy, even amongst quote unquote aliens. It's not just one little, it's not just little gray guys, green dude to the big eyes. Like when you dive into this subject, I mean, those are the bottom of the barrel ones. And then there's, there's ones who are higher in rank. There's bigger ones. And then there's what you call the reptiles or the insectolins. And then you got other aliens in Norse mythology with the, where they're the blonde and they're tall and they're good looking. And like there, there, there's, there's, there's so much more going on here. But when you look at Genesis six and the fallen angels and what they did, corrupting the human genome. They came, they made it with human women. And then, again, this is a whole other subject, a whole other, um, um, a whole other reality going on here. But they, what they wanted to do was corrupt the human genome. That's why they made it with human women to taint the bloodline so that the Messiah, Jesus couldn't come. Like that's the whole purpose, but they were genetic manipulation. And this is where you get into the satyrs, the centaurs, the minotaurs. What these fallen angels were doing was they were taking their divine seed genetics, mixing it with humanity, mixing with the animal kingdom, creating this, this whole host of cryptids and like weird stuff, weird creatures, but they were mixing with the DNA. And because they were mating with human women, you have this sexual component. Now, when you look at aliens, especially the alien abduction phenomena, that's just take that's it's been happening for decades and there's literally been tens of thousands of documented cases where people are getting abducted and a lot of the abductions involve some kind of sexual something where they want their sperm they want the eggs they and they're trying to do stuff with the genome it's genetic manipulation now that's to me that's very similar genesis 6 and you have alien abductions and so there's a lot of similarities there. And so, you know, it, 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 it's not a far stretch 
than to say, well, maybe, perhaps, aliens are some kind of creation, if you will, from Genesis 6. Maybe it's their mix, they have divine seed, maybe it's mixed with some kind of animal that existed in the ancient past that we don't know, and you put them together and out pops an alien. Like, the centers or the miniatures, who knows? Like, could be some kind of biological robot that they've created because when you think about how complex how intelligent how far superior angels are and that that exist in the unseen realm like we don't have a we can't comprehend the vastness of it how big it is what what's going on there but clearly there's technology i mean the government even admitted this craft is technology that we don't even know where it's come from. It's not from Earth. So if you have technology that it's coming from other play, other places, whether that's off planet somewhere, whether that's deep in the bottom of the ocean, whether that's from a different dimension, like they're they're far superior. They're far more intelligent. And so you think of like alien tech, angel tech. It's, it's so far beyond what we can comprehend or imagine. So who knows? Maybe they've created. Maybe aliens. Certain, maybe the, the greys are just a biological robot that's been created. Um, who knows? But so that theory, I, I think I'm still on the side of they're just a different faction. They're just a different ancient separate entity that exists in the unseen realm. But... I could be convinced that they're connected to Genesis 6 and the fallen angels and, and what they did, mixing their genetics, mixing their seed with humanity, with the animal kingdom, with the human kingdom, and creating a whole bunch of stuff that they've, like when you think of ancient mythologies, Greek mythology, Roman mythology, all that stuff, man could very well actually be true. People still, to this day, have sightings of minotaurs, of centaurs. So it's like, that's where it came from, Genesis 6. So there's similarities there. So those are essentially your three, your three theories. Um, but I do not, I do believe, I'm 100% convinced that they're not demons, the way we think of demons. I think they're demonic, but demons, disembodied spirits of the Nephilim cannot be the gray aliens, um, cannot be the reptilians, cannot be the insectolins, cannot be the whatever term, whatever, whatever level there that's in the alien sphere, not biblical demons the way we know them to be. So that is my thoughts on that.